Welcome to CBSNews.com. I'm Kaylee Hartung. A new book is out this month, Crashing Fairy Tale Dreams of Happily Ever After. In The Secret Lives of Wives, journalist Iris Krasnell takes readers behind the closed doors of successful marriages and shares real life, sometimes shocking confessions of women who have stayed married for the long haul. Iris, thank you so much Thanks for joining for having us today. Me. So you say that Happily Ever After is a myth. Why is that? Well, I mean, I think if you walk down the aisle and expect someone else to make you happy for the rest of your life, that's a ticket to divorce. And I hate to say that in such a bold way, but it is. What you should expect in, for, to go the long haul in marriage, and I can tell you the central secret of the secret lives of wives, and I interviewed 200 women who have been married from 15 to 70 years, Kaylee. The central secret is for women to have a sense of purpose and passion and self-fulfillment and their own inner happiness aside from their marriage. These 200 women that you talked to, so many of them bared their souls to you. How did you get them to share their secrets with you? Well, the best trait you can do when you're wanting people to excavate their souls is to be a good listener. And I believe in live-in journalism. Some of these women I spent weeks with. In fact, one of the Texas women, I practically moved into her house because it takes a long time to really unravel the layers of joy, the layers of pain, the layers of doubt in a long marriage. And I, you know, when you're passionate about your subject, and I believe relationships are at the core of who we are as people, who we love and who loves us back, that's at the core of our happiness. So people like to talk about marriage. They like to dish about marriage. <laughs> Now, women at different stages of life could take different things from this book, obviously. Who did you write this for? Well, it's interesting, Kaylee, because I'm a midlife wife. I've been married for 23 years. We have four spectacular sons. But the buzz that I'm getting is from young women who are not married. I'm getting a lot of letters and a lot of inquiries, including from the young women in my class of Washington Journalism semester at American University. They say, so what gives? What should we look for? And people are passionate about finding the right mate. And what's exciting is for 30 years, the divorce rate has been at 50%. Your generation has brought it down to 40 three percent. People are marrying later, they're marrying smarter, and they're marrying in that first question you asked me as two confident income producing souls that come together and don't expect each other to make them happy. Mm -hmm. So women my age, what do you tell them? When do you know it's the right time? I tell them two things. I, when somebody comes to me and says, is this the right guy? I say, I don't ask what's his family like and did he have a Harvard MBA? I say, do you feel like you're home when you're with him? Is he a guy that if you had a spinach leaf on your left molar or in your front <laughs> tooth, would he tell you and could you remove it and still feel like the date's gonna go okay? So someone that you feel comfortable in at home with. I also say, frankly, are you sexually attracted to them? And I'll tell you why. Once you go down that aisle and you've got 15 years of marriage under your belt and you have in-laws and a mortgage and kids and you're fighting about all of them, you do want somebody that you could go to bed with and make your problems go away for at least, oh, seven or eight minutes. <laughs> Okay, let's, on that note, let's dish a little bit about some of these secrets that women shared with you. I mean, you talk about the importance of relationships with other women. You also talk about the importance of relationships, platonic relationships oh, with yeah. men. I call them my boyfriends with boundaries. Okay, girlfriends are everything. The happiest women I interviewed also had a great circle of girlfriends with whom to drink, travel, and vent. But if you don't have, if you're a woman who likes men, we should be allowed to have many men in our lives who love us back. It does not mean that we are having multiple sex partners. It means we are being fueled by many arteries of life. Men we are not married to think we're thin, smart, beautiful, and the best because they don't live with us. <laughs> and then we can take that affirmation home and it means less work for our husbands. Mm -hmm. There's a great story you tell that's gotten a lot of attention as you've done your book tour about a 70-year-old woman who's been married 44 years and she goes and makes out with her old boyfriend yeah. in the back of a car once a month. It is a red Cadillac <laughs> and, you know, and they don't go any farther. She says it only goes from her chin up and, uh, you know, they do have a little bit of what she calls necking mm -hmm. sessions and, you know, people say, well, what do you think about it, Iris? And I don't know what I think other than at 73-ish, 
there's part of me that thinks you go, girl. <laughs> and you wouldn't be the only one who would say that. <laughs> I mean, one of the things I found so interesting is that you say predictability is sexy. I've never oh. heard one of my girlfriends say that before. Oh, yeah. You know, you can look for the chiseled abs. You can look for the great shock of hair. You can look for the perfect smile. And as I said, you can look for the Harvard MBA. But what you really want in a spouse is someone you can count on. Predictability is the sexiest quality you could ever hope for in a long-term spouse. Kaylee, you want someone you can count on. This world is chaotic and it's crazy and you want someone who says, I'll be home at six and he's home at six with flowers on your birthday. And you want somebody who does what he says he's going to do. That's the greatest gift of all in a marriage. I always know where to find my husband. It's generally in a dark, blue leather recliner watching hockey, which is a sport that goes on 11 months out of the year. <laughs> God bless Chuck. <laughs> and the book is The Secret Lives of Wives. You can read an excerpt on cbsnews.com. Iris, thank you so much. Thank you so much.